over the past 25 days i've launched two brand new products to amazon and for part of my launch strategy i've been using amazon ppc advertising to ultimately generate some initial sales and uh to help me increase rank on some of my uh, lower competition keywords which i'll talk about in this video um and as you can see these are my results to date so far which i'm very happy with so far i've spent 238 dollars on advertising uh, amazon ppc advertising specifically which has generated 1397 dollars in sales with an a cost of right around 17 percent okay what's really incredible about this is that um for the majority of the time i've been running these ads neither product has had any reviews literally zero reviews one product now has two reviews the other product uh, now has five reviews so still both products have less than 10 reviews uh i was running ads profitably with less than zero reviews something that really shouldn't happen i'm going to explain to you how it happened and how this can happen with your product i'm going to cover some things that nobody else is covering on any other channel anywhere that i have found uh, these are things i've discovered i'm very very excited this is maybe one of the most powerful videos that i've produced yet so i hope you find it uh helpful but first really quickly if you find value in this video all that i ask all i ask in return is that you consider liking the video uh commenting below with a nice comment and by the way if you have any questions or insights be sure to comment those below uh, as well as subscribe to the channel subscribing to the channel is going to help you um get you notified of any future highly valuable um video which is kind of my whole goal not that i can succeed every single time uh but it'll help you get more and more value uh and ultimately increase the success of your amazon business which is the entire point um so with all that being said really appreciate it let's go ahead and get into uh the first lesson or the first part of this uh so this is my overall philosophy for really anything in life and especially anything in business including amazon ppc so just bear with me i promise it's going to tie back all right so uh people businesses countries um products uh advertising anything this principle governs all of that okay so facebook and amazon among all these other highly highly successful uh multi-billion dollar companies they all started extremely niche and small facebook started only for harvard grads right harvard students then it was for for new england college students then college students then young people and then everybody right Amazon started selling books and now they sell everything. Okay. The, uh, everything that's successful starts small and then gets big. So, um, this is, this is something I want to, and it's a little bit off topic, but it's very, very important. And it's the same principle I use for the products that I'm launching. Um, if you're brand new to e-commerce or even to selling on Amazon, I highly recommend, and I teach this in my Amazon FBA course, my $20 Amazon FBA course, um, uh, focusing on low competition products. So important. Low competition products, differentiating, start small, make one or $2,000 a month in profit. And then as you grow, grow more skills, start learning, start being able to diversify off of Amazon, then start growing uh, to more and more uh, potentially profitable, but also more competitive products and categories. Okay. Same thing with PPC. Um, I see a lot of new sellers targeting with Amazon PPC, some of the most competitive top searched, uh, most relevant keywords. And that is a recipe for disaster. It doesn't necessarily mean uh, it won't work. But what I'm saying is, honestly, I think there's a more efficient and better way of, of launching and ranking. And I'm going to cover that in this video. So the key overall, and you'll see this, this is the theme that ties everything together. Why I've gotten such great results. Uh, number one is from having a low competition product and differentiating that product. Okay. So that's definitely um, part of it. That's number one. But number two is focusing on lower competition keywords and products, and then slowly moving up to middle, middle competition and then up to high competition. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. If you're kind of confused by that, let me know, but I think it'll make sense as we go on. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I've divided this uh, kind of slide up into, I'm just going to show you briefly, a uh, touch on each campaign that I set up, why I set it up and why it's so effective and, and why it will, can be very effective for you. Okay. But before you set up any campaign, again, I want to stress the most important, and nobody else talks about this, the most important uh, determinant to your product success and to having a low a cost right a profitable running amazon uh, ppc profitably is having a differentiated product if your product doesn't sell or perform well organically and again if it's brand new you don't know yet if it does or not um but if it's if, if, if you've had it for like a month two months three months and it's really not performing well organically do not expect it to perform well uh through amazon ppc now these campaigns i'm going to show you can absolutely help especially if you're in a very competitive niche um, this is kind of finding those, those keywords and products that nobody else is targeting or looking at. Um, however, again, ad advertising is an amplifier. It doesn't fix, it doesn't magically fix anything. Okay. So I want you to keep that in mind as well. Uh, make sure your images, your copywriting, your search engine, uh, your, your Amazon SEO 
everything is is as good as it can possibly be before you set up these ads okay because this is going to amplify if you already have a, a good product solid product differentiated and you just need help getting the word out kind of you know showing it to more people this is going to help but if it's not if the market just decides this really isn't much different from all these other options out here uh they don't expect great results so with all that being said uh we'll go ahead and get into our first campaign super simple campaign not going to take a ton of time um it is the as we can see here the low bid auto campaign okay our goal with this campaign is to have amazon automatically find highly profitable keywords to bid on and that's the key highly profitable so how do you set this up super simple um you'll create an auto campaign in campaign manager and um what i'd recommend getting started with is looking so you know set everything up for an auto campaign and then look at what the suggested bid is that amazon gives you and i'd recommend starting out bidding 20 cents below the suggested bid okay um anywhere between 15 cents to 20 cents below the suggested bid somewhere in that mark is where i like to start um and i love these campaigns it takes me literally like a minute to set up and it takes some time for them to get running and, and start generating sales and they won't generate a ton of sales but they'll generate they can have the potential to generate a good amount of sales and find keywords and find products to bid on um, that you would have never thought of on your own okay and uh, i'm not going to go through setting up all these campaigns because that would literally take a few hours and i know that some of you would be super annoyed by that and i don't want to you know waste your time if you want to see these came how i set these campaigns up step by step and some other highly profitable campaigns that i set up that i don't, don't cover in this video i have a 20 dollars amazon pbc course that specifically focuses on low competition um amazon pbc campaigns so it's not a huge giant uh, pbc course but it's uh it's very very uh, effective and it can help many Amazon sellers. If you're interested, link is in the description. Not trying to promote it, just letting you know about it. Well, I'm promoting it a little bit, but not oh, try not to overdo it. Okay, so that's campaign number one. If you want to see the full step by step of all of these, go check out the description. All right, campaign number two, targeting products that are similar to yours that have one review. So I call this the one review campaign, and that's the goal. Very simple, because basically, if you have a, because of course, you know, you should have your product differentiated from everybody else, right? Um, but there's obviously still some similar products, right? Uh, or even complementary products. So think about peanut butter, right? What goes with peanut butter? Jelly. So maybe if you have a peanut butter product, you're targeting a jelly product, uh, as well as other peanut butter products. So you think of it like that. Think about um, products that are similar to yours, as well as products that are complementary to yours, that people maybe often buy those two products together. Um, but anyway, you want to find these type of products, these similar and complementary products on Amazon that have zero to one reviews. Um, now this was specifically shared with me. I want to give credit where it's due. Uh, this idea was shared with me by a guy named Samer Brax. If you don't already know who that is, he's an awesome guy. I'm in his Facebook group. I follow a lot of his YouTube uh, uh, videos. I'll include a link to his um, channel or group or whatever um, in the description as well. And like I said, because I want to give him credit where it's due. This is kind of where I learned about it. Um, so, right, this is a really great idea. We're going to target products that are similar or complementary to ours that have like almost no reviews. So if someone gets to that listing and then sees our product, um, on that listing, right in the in the sponsored product section. If you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of sp sponsored products, when you advertise on Amazon, you're eligible to show up both in the search results, right? So like someone's like scrolling through, right, and they see the little like sponsored um, listing, right? Um, they're scrolling through the search results. But also, if you click on any Amazon, uh, if you click on a product on Amazon and you scroll down, you'll see a section that says sponsored products. You can also show up there. So that's on, that's when you target a specific product, you'll show up in that section, the sponsored product section, where um, if you're targeting keywords, you can show up either in that section or on the actual search results itself. Okay. So I just want to clarify that. But again, I cover all that in other videos and in the course and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's, that's the idea. Pretty straightforward. How do we find these ASINs? How do we find these products? Well, um, a really great tool. And by the way, they have a free version. That's part of the reason I recommend them is Helium 10. So Helium 10, uh, I'm in the Helium 10 tool in their black box tool. And what you can do again, number one, you can sign up for a free account. And you have a certain limited number of daily uses for some of their tools but this can honestly be sufficient enough i'm going to reference them in future in a, in in the next slides as well um very cost effective um you can use the free version but if you guys want the paid version i do have a coupon code for 50 percent off your first month as well as 10 percent off of future months if you're interested but again uh honestly the free version can be sufficient i'm not again i'm not just trying to push you to buy stuff this is going to be very very valuable i promise um so using the helium 10 black box tool we can use the tool to basically input criteria and then uh healing is going to show us amazon products that meet that criteria so for example we set this is the two big things if you're using this tool you want to do set the review count to one and then scroll down into the title uh keyword search as you can see with the second um red arrow right down there 
you'll input uh, whatever keyword is similar to your, like basically describes your product. So for this example, we're gonna use the term silicone rings, okay? So we wanna find anything, any product on Amazon that has the word silicone ring or silicone rings in the title that has one review or less, okay? Cause it's gonna be very easy for us, even with zero reviews to compete with these products, all right? So we get, so once we hit enter, we get results like this. And what you can do is download uh, this to a CSV file to where basically you're downloading all of the um, ASINs, which is what you'll need to start a product targeting campaign. And, you know, go back and do this a few times. So you can do silicone rings, silicone ring. Um, if there's other, you know, um, silicone ring box, because maybe, you know, people will buy the box with the ring, right? So complimentary and um, similar products. Uh, try to find, you know, those products that have one or less reviews. Um, download a bunch of CSVs. And then you have this nice uh, long list of products to target. Then what you'll do is you'll go to, um, you'll create a, a product targeting campaign in Amazon Seller Central. And from there, uh, simply target those specific campaigns um, and, or target those specific uh, ASINs with your campaign. And in terms of bidding, I like to start, I like to go above this, the high suggested bid in general. Um, that's just a general rule of thumb because these are such low competitive um, um, products to target and they probably don't get a ton of traffic to where I want to make sure like I'm always the top result. I'm always like the first, you know, sponsored product option on their uh, product page. Okay. So that's what I like to do in general. Uh, and that's one of the campaigns that I have set up. That's getting such great results is the, uh, is the product targeting campaign. Okay. So campaign number three, very similar to what we just covered, uh, is the three star campaign. So similar idea, right? So instead of targeting products that are similar to ours with one star, we're going to target products that have a, th uh, a rating of three or less, right? So one star is the, is the quantity of reviews. And then there's the rating, which is kind of the quality of reviews, right? Um, so we want to target anything that has a, a rating of three out of five, two out of five, one out of five, or even zero out of five, right? If it really, really sucks. Because um, if people, people get to these products in so many different ways, um, it won't get maybe a ton of traffic, but it can be very, very profitable like it has been for me. Um, so how we find these products, very simple. Go to Helium 10, go to their black box tool as I have here. In the review, go to the review rating section, uh, type in a max of three. And then down there, which I don't really know why it's cut off, um, for, the, uh, uh, for, title, for title keywords, include whatever your title keywords are, which in this case would be silicone rings. Um, again, we get a result very much like this, very similar process. Download the CSVs and then create a separate new campaign for these. Okay. I like to keep, uh, have each of these be a separate campaign instead of separate ad groups within one campaign. That's just my personal preference because it gives me more control and I can see what's really, um, quickly see what's working and not working. Uh, and again, really ultimately gives me more uh, budgeting control. Okay. So, um, so yeah, that's an, uh, another campaign that can set up very, very profitable, very, very effective with, and it's really kind of common sense. You have a similar product. Uh, but they obviously have th three star or less rating. Well, then you have a high likelihood of being able to beat or, or kind of steal ethically steal sales from that um, competitor. Okay. So that's kind of the, the idea behind that campaign. Number four is a low bid, uh, broad campaign. Okay. Essentially their goal here, capture profitable sales by targeting high volume keywords with an extremely low bid. So with this campaign, you're going to find your top search, you know, your highest search, most relevant keywords, but you're going to bid on them very, very low. And this, I found this especially works during the Q4 season, although it does work all year round. Um, again, depending on the product, it works well, well for me, could be different for you. Um, but this way, uh, when all these other competitors are bidding on these high, uh, these high volume, you know, high competitive keywords and they run out of budget and everyone runs out of budget for the day and you're the only one left, for example, I'm just oversimplifying, but you're the only one left and you have a really low, uh, really low bid. Well, then um, you're going to kind of win that. You could kind of win that auction or, or, or win those clicks, and you essentially get um, very inexpensive cost per a very inexpensive cost per, per click, and it will generate. A, it can generate a few sales uh, every month. Uh, it's almost no maintenance. Super easy to set up, and it's just another thing to add um, that can be very, very, uh, very, very profitable. Won't generate necessarily a ton of sales, but the sales you do generate will be profitable or can be profitable. So the first step you want to do is again, I'm, I'm using just one tool here because you can use the, just the free version. I want to make it as easy and cost effective as possible for everybody uh, watching. But again, if there's any other way that you can do this uh, better, faster, easier, or for, for any other way, feel free to do that. This is just kind of the way that I do it. And I literally use this tool for this. Okay. So I like to use the Cerebro tool. Um, and then I'll, I'll enter in uh, five to 10 of my top competitors is ultimately. And basically what this does is it, uh, the Cerebro tool with Helium 10 will run what's called a reverse ASIN search. 
So we'll just basically see what, what keywords do these people or all these uh, sellers include in their listing. Okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do is, you know, we're going to find what keywords are using and then organize by search volume. Okay. So enter in your ASINs or one specific ASIN, um, hit enter. And then basically we're going to extract all the keywords that they are, um, that they are including in their listing. Okay. And then we're going to organize that by search volume. Okay. Cause that's going to help us find our top search, most relevant keywords really quickly. And you can enter in as many keywords as you want. Um, uh, you know, you can get started with 10 to 20. I like to include more, like it's going to take more time, the more um, keywords that you add. Um, so it's really up to you, but, uh, but the more keywords obviously gives you more chances of clicks and ultimately sales. So in my opinion for this type of campaign, the more, the better, but just make sure, um, that your, uh, that your, the keywords you're targeting are relevant. So you need to go through and kind of manually weed through. So for example, I highlighted this with the red arrow down here at the bottom, number 10 water shoes for men. So I typed in the term silicone ring and somehow water shoes showed up. We don't want to bid on water shoes. Even if we're only spending 10 cents, 15 cents a click. Um, we don't want to bid on that because it's not relevant. So you want to make sure that you only include or that you just exclude irrelevant keywords from your list. Okay. That's just something I want to call out. Um, but yeah, this is a really great tool for doing that. If you've already done your, your research and you already have a list, great. Then you have something to go off of. And again, more keywords in my opinion is better than less. Uh, just be, make sure that they are relevant to your product. Okay. And then you'll create a, oh, and then last step is, uh, in campaign manager, you're going to create a bro a manual broad match campaign. You're going to take all these keywords enter them in as broad. And what I like to do is bid again, there's no right or wrong. It just kind of get started somewhere and then optimize later. I like to start around 15 cents personally. Okay. That's where it goes about, about the 15 cent mark. And I might increase to try to get a few more, you know, profitable sales, even if it becomes less profitable, because I just want to get a few more super profitable sales, but I start around 15 cents with around like 50 keywords is what I'll add. Okay. So that's that uh, campaign. Number five, misspellings, very simple. Okay. So take those same keywords that you just found, you know, they're highly searched keywords into Amazon. And what we're going to do is find uh, how people commonly misspell these keywords. Because think about it, it's really common sense. Have you ever, ever, ever misspelled something when you're typing a, a, a product idea or something into Amazon or a keyword into Google, right? Ever? Yes. The answer is yes. So here's two things that we know. Number one, we know what keywords people are typing into Amazon every single month. Number two, we know that people are going to misspell these keywords. Number three, we know that our competitors probably aren't thinking about this. If you didn't think about this, there could be a good chance that your competitors don't. Maybe they do, but again, basically we're going to find com high search uh, keywords that are misspelled, target those keywords specifically. Um, and these are generally going to be very low competition. This is one of my best, my favorite campaigns. Um, and this can really get as big or as little as you want it to be. Uh, by the way, for me, I currently have a misspelling campaign that has, uh, this is for one of my established products though, actually. And this ha this campaign has 40, let me make sure this is correct. Yeah. 40,000 keywords, misspelled keywords. So that's quite a lot. Uh, you can do as big or as little as you would like, but this is just, uh, I just want to let you know of this and kind of how I do this. So the first step is I'll go to just type in a keyword typo generator in Google. Any of them matter. It does not matter what tool to use. I just use this one just cause this is the first search result. If it wasn't the first search result, I would use something else. I really don't care. So keyword typo generator, you type in your, so you can either have a list of your, like your, 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 your top 10, top five, most relevant keywords to your product. That's key. So top highest search, most relevant keywords, enter those in to the top box there and then hit generate typos. And what these tools will do is generate this huge list of commonly misspelled keywords when people are trying to, um, try, trying to, uh, find or type those main keywords. Then what you're going to do with those keywords, uh, depending on how many you have, if you have, uh, you know, you can only create, um, an ad group with a max of a thousand keywords. So if you have, you know, let's say 10,000, you need to create one campaign that has 10 ad groups. If you only have a thousand or less than a thousand keywords, um, from this list, then you will, um, you, you can, you can just create one campaign, one ad group. Okay. If that makes sense. If you have questions, let me know in the comments. And again, I covered this in other videos and all that. So, so with this, uh, with these keywords, the key here, in my opinion, right? Do not create a broad or phrase match campaign. Okay. Cause you don't want to target similar related keywords because then it kind of ruins the whole goal. What you want to do with these keywords is target them exactly. Okay. Cause you want to bid on these exact keywords. So anytime someone mistypes one of these high volume keywords, you're the first ad that shows up or you're one of the top results that shows up. That's your goal. And I've been able to do this successfully and very, very, very profitably. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, I would recommend, um, taking this list, 
uh, if you have you know 1,000 keywords per ad group and just create as many ad groups as you want um, and like I said I usually bid around like 15 cents okay that's kind of where I start I bid around 15 cents um, per keyword and again this won't generate a ton of sales but they'll be very very profitable um, and it just really again the whole point of this whole uh, uh, presentation is using common sense okay using common sense um, with your product and with Amazon PPC okay number six a Spanish targeting campaign so very similar to what we uh, mentioned before kind of similar to misspellings is look at our top searched keywords into Amazon and if we're selling in the United States we know that a large percentage of people buying our products or potentially buying our products are Spanish speaking um, Spanish speakers in the United States will only increase like I forget what the number was by 2050 um, the estimate of what percentage of the United States will be speaking Spanish uh, which is awesome that's really cool so we want to make sure that we're in line with that trend um, and what we can do is take basically take the, that same list of high volume high search keywords that we found either using helium 10 or seller tools or viral launch or whatever tool we're using um, take that list put them into a, a translator such as um, just be Google translate uh, if you want you could hire a professional translator if you have a friend uh, you could pay them a little bit of money and have them you know uh, just r quickly run through and make sure everything makes sense um, after you do this right my wife is a, is a um, English is a third language or second language is Spanish so I have her kind of help me out uh, with this and she does an awesome job but if you don't have access to that then um, then yeah you can you could hire somebody or just have a friend or just launch it like this you can still have success so all you do take that list put it into a translator such as Google Translate uh, set one side to English the other side to Spanish and just translate and it'll automatically give you a rough translation of everything in Spanish and overall it's fairly accurate it's not hundred percent accurate um, but honestly in my opinion it's good enough to get started so you, you have this list of now highly searched highly uh, searched keywords into Amazon in Spanish where again a lot of your competitors aren't thinking like this so it's gonna help give you an edge so you can take these keywords create an exact match campaign and then target these exactly okay because then um, yeah so you target these uh, keywords exactly and again depending on your product this could make sense or maybe not for example if you have a, a product that's very highly like like I'm just making this up but let's say it's like an ebook or it's a book in English right then maybe you wouldn't target uh, with Spanish keywords because Spanish speakers are like okay great this is probably an awesome book but like I how can I read it right assuming they they only speak Spanish right so um, just keep that in mind that may, this may not work with every product just again kind of use your common sense um, and last campaign campaign number seven is our long tail campaign this really kind of ties everything back to what we talked about originally which is targeting um, you know less competitive keywords and how do we find less competitive keywords well there are a few different types of keywords and again our goal is to target profitable long tail low competition keywords right and the key here is long tail okay there are different types of keywords there are short tail medium tail and long tail keywords the the shorter a keyword think about this logically the shorter a keyword is generally the the higher it is searched and the more competitive it is so for so give this example of um silicone ring silicone ring then we have the term white silicone ring and let's say like white men's silicone white yeah or white men's silicone ring but not like white men I don't know anyway um you know silicone ring is going to be the most competitive there's all different kinds of options but then like a men's white silicone ring there we go a men's white silicone ring um, there's you know fewer options because it's very very specific so um, what I recommend doing when you're starting off with the Amazon PPC campaign is find those longer tail like longer more specific keywords okay so you find those keywords and then you bid on those keywords and then slowly once you start getting sales once you start ranking for those keywords then start going for those mid tail keywords okay those um, you know like for example uh, 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 white silicone ring so you, you did men's white silicone ring so those, those that's four words in one phrase you kind of target those type of keywords then you start targeting like you know white silicone ring and keywords like that and then later once you start getting sales and 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 um, and clicks and all that and start ranking for those keywords then you start targeting uh, words like silicone ring more competitive more search right and you kind of instead of going from the top down you're going to the bottom up because that's the way that so many things grow um, and you may be wondering well summer how do I I know how to find those high volume keywords how do I find these uh, these low competition longer tail keywords well a great way to do that is um, again with the helium 10 magnet tool so I'm back here helium 10 um, magnet in this case I've typed in the term silicone ring as you can see here at the top so silicone ring and then I've organized instead of organizing my search volume I've organized by what's called magnet IQ score and again this is part of the reason I love helium 10 is that basically what IQ score is is um, Helium 10 will try to find based on the keyword that you like typed into the tool 
They'll try to find you keywords that are relevant, that relate to this product or relate to this keyword with relatively high demand and low competition. Okay. And again, I say relative because it is relative. So the higher the magnet IQ score, the better in terms of high demand, low, uh, in terms of like low competition with demand uh, where the lower the IQ score is kind of like the worst, right? That, that's the way you can kind of think about it. So I, I organize my magnet IQ score. And when I'm starting off, I try to find 10 to 20 and usually more in the 20 range. So 20 keywords, uh, I just go through this list and I say, okay, is this relevant to my product? Is this relevant to my product and so on. And if it's relevant, great. I add it to my list and I go through until I have 20. Okay. Uh, and generally I like to see between 100 to 1000 monthly searches. That's just for me uh, personally. That's like a general rule of thumb is 10 to 20 keywords that are relevant to my product with, um, with 100 to 1000 searches that have a high magnet IQ score. Okay. And just kind of go down this list. And then I add these to a campaign. Uh, and I create three different campaigns. Okay. So I take these 10 to 20 keywords. I create a broad match campaign, a phrase match campaign and an exact match campaign. And in terms of my bidding, it depends if I really want to start ranking quickly, I'll, I'll bid like slightly above the high suggested bid. If I, if I'm, if I really want to kind of conserve my money and, and I'm not really worried about ranking quickly, then I'll go within like the low suggested bid, not below it, but I'll go, um, in the lower end of the suggested bid. And in general, again, most of the time I'll just go right. I'll just hit the suggested bid for all these keywords, um, in general. And then that's where I'll start. And again, I'll optimize later. Okay. But what's great about these keywords is that again, they are uh, less competitive than, than many other keywords. It's going to be easier to rank. You'll have a higher conversion rate for these keywords, etc. Right? So this can, you can, it's a really great place to start and then work up from there. All right. So that kind of concludes all of the uh, campaigns that I have. Um, if there's anything that I missed, please comment that below. If you have any insights you'd love to share, share it with the community here in the comments below. Um, and like I said, if you liked the video, really appreciate, uh, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the description for the, uh, Amazon PPC course, my $20 Amazon FBA course, uh, where I cover a ton. It's over 18 hours long. Um, and be sure to subscribe for a lot of other free content as well, because again, I want to help you out, uh, without taking all of your money, right? That's kind of the whole goal. So, uh, again, really, really appreciate you watching. Thank you for your support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.